हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू लर्न डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिदम इन पाइथन कोर्स और टू डेज लेक्चर विल बी अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू पाइथन एंड विल बी लुकिंग एट व्हाट इज पाइथन देन व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ पाइथन आफ्टर दैट विल बी लुकिंग एट हाउ एक्चुअली अ पाइथन कोड एग्जीक्यूट्स व्हाट हैपेंस बिहाइंड द सीन व्हेन वी ट्राई टू रन अ कोड हाउ आवर सिस्टम एग्जीक्यूट दैट कोड after that we'll be discussing about some syntax indentation then variables and many more so let's get started what is python python is a interpreted object oriented high level programming language with dynamic semantics okay what is mean by interpreted language interpreted language means when we try to execute a python code it executes one by one so line by line and then give us the output then object oriented object oriented means everything in python is treated like an object that's why it is called object oriented programming language then there is a word called dynamic semantics that means in python when you declare a variable you don't have to define the type of it in most of the programming language like c c++ or java you have to define the type of variable when we declare that variable but in python we don't have to do that that's why it is called dynamic semantics python was created by guido van rossum and released in 1991 and now it is widely used in web applications software development data science machine learning artificial intelligence and many more now let's discuss about why do we need python what is the requirement of that what are the advantages of python first python is platform independent means it works on different platform like windows mac linux and also it is free free to use you don't have to pay anything to install python in your system then next the syntax of python is very very easy so when you write that it will feel like you are writing english language and for that so when you write a program so it will require less line of code for that reason development will be very very fast next python is an interpreted language and for that debugging code is very very easy next point is python can be treated in procedural way or an object oriented way so it supports both the main advantage of python is python has a huge standard library that contains usable code for almost any task for machine learning data science data analytics data visualization there are plenty of library available that's why python is very very important to learn okay now now look at how does python work when we try to execute a python file how it actually executes and give us the output for that first try to understand what is an python interpreter interpreter is nothing but a translator who actually translate the actual the python script into machine code the python interpreter it written in c programming language that's why it is called c python when you install python in your system so this c python actually installed in your system now let's try to visualize this let's see how actually interpreter works let's assume you have a python file right and the name of the python file is intro.py okay now there is some code written here inside this python file let's assume print hello world okay 
Now to execute this code, you have to pass this to your system. Assume this is your system. So this is your system and there are processor inside this so somehow you have to pass this into your processor then processor will execute this code and give you the give you the output right but the problem here is that our system doesn't understand this high level code this print hello world this text file so machine what he understand only zeros and ones so somehow we have to convert this into a file that contains only zeros and ones zero one zero one so each of the every instruction is transformed into zeros and ones like each instruction have to convert it like this now the question is who will be doing this that's why interpreter comes what is an interpreter? Interpreter actually converts this uh, high level code into this zeros one machine readable code. That is the work of interpreter. Interpreter. Now, the interpreter itself has two things. One is called compiler and another is called PBM Python virtual machine. Now what this compiler does? Compiler will take this intro.py file. And then convert it into byte code. And the extension of the file will be PYC. This byte code also can't be understood by the, our system. So somehow now we have to convert this code also, this byte code into machine readable code. For that, we have PBM. Python virtual machine. Now, what he, what Python virtual machine does, it actually convert this byte code into this zero one zero one machine code. So this is the architecture of a Python interpreter. So in the first stage. In the first stage, what happens? Compiler actually fades the details from this Python file and first checks the error for indentation or any syntax error. So indentation means the alignment or of the code is proper or not. First it checks for that and the syntax is like if you miss some races or something, then if there are some code syntax error in the code, then it will directly throw an error. And the execution will be ended. And then it will not be converted into bytecode. This is the first thing. Then what happens? Then actually, this compiler actually converted this source code into some smaller chunks, like some smaller information that actually divides the whole source code into smaller chunks. And that is called these tokens let me just show you how it actually tokens are look like so can you see my screen so this is a python file intro.py so first when we try to execute this so this compiler converted this into some kind of this kind of format and this is called byte code so, so this is not a human readable code so if you want to see this so you have to just convert it into human readable code and it will be look like this.
and this is like a token so first line is for like uh, which line you are printing like then the operations first what is the operation then what you have to print so there are some instruction given so this is actually the information in the bytecode and this is the original bytecode so for this print hello world program now i think you have understood what is bytecode is look like now what is the next thing the next thing is pbm pbm is a runtime engine that converts the bytecode into executable code such as zeros and one binary code that's why i just discussed with you like it executes it fetches the information from the bytecode then converted into zeros and ones then after that we will pass this to our system and system will execute this and give us the output that is the basic architecture of an python interpreter now let's look at our slides first this is a python source file and this is look like this right then the python source file is compiled into bytecode then bytecode is fetched by pbm for python virtual machine this is a compiler just in time compiler then it will be converted into some machine code then this machine code will be given to cpu then cpu execute the code and give you the output so this is the basic architecture of a python i think now you have understood this okay great now what is repl repl stands for read evaluate print loop repl actually the shell python shell where we write python code let's try to understand what is this read evaluate print loop okay now we are in our vs code now try to close this okay let's open an another terminal new terminal so to go to python shell you have to just write python3 then press enter now we are in python shell so this python shell is called repl why it is called so it has four things it can read evaluate print and after printing it will be ready to read next information let's try to understand let's input something let's say 8 now i put 8 and press enter now as soon as i press enter what happens first this python shell read the variable then evaluate but you may ask what it evaluates let's take another example uh, 8 plus 10 now what it will do it will first read the information first read 8 then plus sign then 10 then it will evaluate means 8 plus 10 so result will be 18 then after the getting the result it will print that it will print it is 18 and after printing this next it is ready for taking the input now you can give 30 star 2 and while you press enter so first it will read 30 then the operators in uh, star operator then 2 after that it will evaluate and the result of the evaluation will be 60 then it will print 60 then after that it is ready to read and you can give 20 uh, then modulo 3 and while press enter first it will reads 20 then modulo 3 then it try to evaluate this then it will print and after this it is ready to read so that is basically repl is repl is i think now you have understood what is repl 